Hello and welcome to yet another show and tell. This time it's Trois Batailles on Allemagne from the Vive l'Empereur series. Game designed by Didier Rui, Legion War Games, by Pretz and Editions. So Pretz and Editions 2018, Legion War Games 2019. Uh, this is a, a a three battle pack, Jena and Auerstedt, and uh, Le Siege de Danzig, the Siege of Danzig. Um, I was uh, looking uh, around for these games, I wanted to have uh, at least a one volume. This is volume 9, as you can see, from uh, the Vive l'Empereur series. Uh, but I was daunted by the size of uh, these and uh, the price tag. I mean, this is uh, not uh, quite cheap, but uh, given the fact that it uh, looks like they uh, they are uh, smaller uh, footprint games, and the availability of this copy in the EU, I said, let's do it and. Um, I did, and uh, it uh, came fairly quickly, and uh, lo and behold, we can now open it, and hopefully somewhere in the very near future play, time permitting. So let's get this out of the way. So, Vive l'Empereur, Trois Batailles on Allemagne, three battles in the, in Germany, or uh, what was uh, was standard for uh, Germany back then in Prussia and uh, a myriad of different uh, little uh, states. Ah, good quality cardboard. We have some uh, Ziploc baggies and some. Uh, Dice, I really like the style of these. Cool. So, one white and one blue. And we have the uh, advertising section. We have Cata Bataille en Espagne, Tra Bataille en Allemagne, and uh, La Bataille de Anno. The Battle of Hanau, three battles in Germany and four battles in Spain. Um, I know. Let's see how this goes and maybe we'll delve deeper into the system. So we have the uh, rulebook, standards and uh, advanced rules for the series. Cool artwork, a bit on the glossy side. Uh, but Lots of text, but uh, uh, we have illustrations as well. Color. Uh, the rules are 40 pages with some author's notes in the back. Okay, and then we have. Oops, it's a bit of a, an earthquake. We have. Um, the scenarios and special rules, part one, we have part two over there. So this is uh, Jena 1806 and Auerstedt 1806, the two battles. Um, this has, uh, this has uh, less, uh, so less illustrations and uh, Black and white, more text. And Napoleon ent uh, entering Berlin. So it's 24 pages. Then we have the uh, third battles. Uh, uh, this last, Le Siege de Danzig, 1807. So the Siege of Danzig, Dansk today. Uh, so this is the second part, 
like in the first part it's uh, black and white but with more illustrations again 25 pages 25 pages How come? Yep. 24 25 you can have 25 pages I mean an, an odd number of pages apparently you can you can if you jump from a 21 to 23 <laughs> so yeah actually 24 pages then we have goodies counters and they came and they come out pretty easily so this is a counter sheet one of four and you can see all manners of goodness here I don't care if you can focus, it should be fun. Oh. Yeah. So, nice rectangle. Fairly thick, so it has a nice thickness to them. Lots of information on them, but they look cool. Uh, this is the second sheet, of course, two-sided. Uh, we have some uh, some counters for dancing, I believe. These are uh, uh, trenches for approaching the besieged space. Third one and the fourth one. And the fourth one is has less color, more uh, numbers. And then we have some maps, which are made of paper, but good quality paper, one sided. So we have a blank. In the back, so this is the uh, Le Siege de Danzig. We have Danzig over there, and then we have the uh, main attack, attack principal, and the false attack, false attack. So uh, one it seems like we have a revolution on herd outside and then we have the operational map so that was the tactical map this is the operational map Danzig and the uh, l'environnement de Danzig and then we have a, a map for the, the Battle of Vienna, the eastern part, so these are two, two parts, and as you can see, La Bataille de Vienna, or there, so this is something like that, like so, so we have an eastern part, and then we have the western part of the map. West map. Again, paper, but good quality. A bit on the glossy side, rather thickish. But it's really good quality. And then we have the map for our stack, which is all in all smaller than only one piece like that. We have 
Rostedt over here. Cool looking map. And then we have uh, some uh, aids. We have uh, how to read units. We have the terrain key. For, and then we have the strategic map, terrain key, terrain effects. Fire table, melee table, uh, two of those, uh, two copies of those. And then we have uh, uh, Danzig Friends Division breakdown with the uh, Bataille de Darstead and options, French Army, Main Prussian Army, Reserve, Württemberg, uh, option for the first corps, Bernadotte. That's one. Then we have uh, Battle Jena, the Battle of Jena, Prussian army with uh, Danzig charts and tables on the back. So, of course, if you're fighting on the Jena, you don't need the Danzig one. And uh, then we have the Armée Française, Battle Jena, so the French army at Jena. And uh, a sequence of sequence of turns, dates and events for uh, Danzig. Provided that you don't play them at the same time, of course, uh, you're uh, pretty much hindered if you want to do that. Of course, they, they are not uh, at the same date, but uh, should you want to play them uh, in parallel for some reason, well, it's harder. Uh, well, uh, piece of blue paper, I don't know why. Um, so, that's about it. I uh, really like what I'm seeing. I'm very happy to uh, have my own copy of one of the, uh, the Vive L'Empereur uh, games, because uh, I wanted one, I wanted to have one for quite some time. And uh, now, if I can uh, just find the time to set up and play them, that would be fun. But I'll let you know. All in all, color me excited. So, uh, that's it for uh, now. Uh, thank you for very much for uh, watching. And uh, until next time, goodbye.